onto the glide board and do a few single side or unilateral reps. Let's go ahead and switch if you've done that and pick up a few single side reps on that other leg. Let's go back and finish together on the last rep, pressing together and then controlling down. Now here's another quick transition. Unbelievable what you can do with this machine. Let's detach the accessory wing by sliding the glide board up, releasing the safety pins, and we're gonna put this on top of your unit in the upper holes on the rails. Make sure the wing is away from you and we'll keep this exercise routine going. Now, do you think you can curl the same amount of weight you just pressed? I don't think so. So what we wanna do is lower this down to a reasonable level for these weaker muscle groups, but there'll be no less challenge. All right, let's sit with our legs at the top end of the glide board, grab onto your accessory wing, and go ahead and put one leg in on top of the pad and in front of the accessory wing lateral bar there, and we're ready to go. Flex your knees a little bit, control with your abs, lower down, and go ahead and straighten the leg. We're ready, let's hit it. Draw your heels towards your buttocks, and you're gonna feel an isolation like you never have before. The back of that upper leg, the hamstring. All right, we've got rep number three, that's strong. And you could do this with one leg, but you don't need to, because there's so much load here as well. So this one is nothing fancy, just getting down to work. And control the movement, the tendency, including myself, is to speed up. Think three or four seconds a rep. Two seconds up, two seconds down. Let's focus, last three reps. Go ahead and relax your head if you've been watching your video or DVD. And then last repetition, tighten the abdominal muscles, hold at the top, grasp the board, and release that movement. Okay, now, to move on to an upper body exercise, we're gonna release and remove the accessory wing. We're gonna make sure we choose an appropriate resistance for this arm exercise, and we're going to reattach our cable pulley system. So again, grab that, open the clip fully, look underneath, see what you're doing, and get that hooked in there solidly, and we're ready to go. Now Maureen is going to start at the top end of her glide board with her legs angled in slightly. We're gonna release one arm, your back arm, straight, and we're simply going to lift to the side. This is a great exercise for the top of the shoulder, the deltoid muscle. That's nice. There's your third rep. Sitting tall, moving with control. Aren't you glad you got that warm up? I'm feeling good about now. How you feeling, Mo? All right, here we go. Now, if you wanna make this a little more challenging, lift one leg, and even more so, the other leg. So there's a little more stabilization going on in the core. Don't let it compromise what the arms are doing. If you just went to the more advanced version, and you're struggling, put those feet back down and we'll rep out on those last three. Two repetitions, and you guessed it, you gotta do that other side. One last rep. And lift, hold, good focus. Let's go ahead and transition over. Starting with the back arm straight here, and legs angled, and away we go. There's number one. And here's two. Good job. Let's focus and go to work three. If you'd like to, lift one leg. That's it. And the other leg as we hit five. Beautiful exercise for the top of the shoulder. Core stability. That's it. Good job. Boom. Now are you ready for those last few reps? Here we go. This is number four coming down Number three, stay with it. You should be challenged now. You should say, I've got one or two reps left with good form. Whew. Last repetition, pause. Bring the feet back down if you had them up and center back in. Now we're gonna go right into seated arm curls. We're gonna face in, use an over grip. Works the bicep muscles, the elbow flexors. We're gonna sit tall, elbows stay glued to the side. 
and away we go. Here's number one. Full range of motion, boom. Notice how my elbows and Maureen's stay in place. You don't see this or this. It's a very pure, quiet movement. Now, if you'd like to, you could change a grip and go to an under grip. All three major elbow flexors work regardless of the grip you choose, so it's just a variation factor. You can also work unilaterally. Double the load. And let's come back together on those last two reps. Here's two, and work it, one. What are we doing? We're hitting all the major muscle groups. Let's roll over onto our back, supine, and work the triceps. Chest back, front back of the arm. Here we go. As you position yourself, lower your buttocks down toward the end of the platform, but leave enough room for both your feet and your head to be supported. Now, if you need to, scooch around a little, find that right position. Glue your elbows into your side, and all we're gonna do is press away. There's one. Elbows stay into the side, and we press. This is a great isolation for the back of that upper arm. Boom. Now, if you wanna make this more complicated, more challenging, you can go ahead and add a crunch to it. So you can add a crunch, but what I don't want you to do is say, oh, my abs are tired, I need to stop the exercise. What we're doing is working the arms. That's it. Keep pressing. Boom. You could also leave the head down and do a unilateral press. That's it. Nice. Let's come back together on our last couple reps. Last one. Really extend that press out. Squeeze. Hold. Bend your arms slightly. Legs come down. And boom. You're through your first set, your first strength workout. Now, if you're ready to move on, let's keep it going. But if you'd like to repeat workout one for a double dose, pause your player now and return to the beginning of this workout. Instead of focusing on strength in this fitness circuit, we're going to speed up our movements to about two seconds per repetition. That's quick, but it's still controlled motion. Additionally, rather than focus on 12 repetitions to fatigue, each exercise is going to last about 30 seconds. That means you'll need to choose a level of resistance that allows you to succeed at maintaining this faster tempo from one exercise to the next within that 30 second time frame. Now Maureen and I won't be working out at the same cadence, but we're gonna be moving quickly in this 30 second time period. To get this workout started, let's lie supine and set up for the overhead cable pull. Go ahead and take a hand grip in either hand, move your buttocks down toward the end of the glide board. Make sure you can position your feet comfortably on the end of the glide board, as well as having your head positioned comfortably. Go ahead and let the cables stretch overhead, take a nice stretch, and we're ready to rock here for 30 seconds. Let's get it going. Here's your first repetition. Now, once you feel your rhythm, let's move quickly, smooth, and controlled. And though this targets the triceps, the lats, your core is stabilizing, what we're really trying to do is drive the heart rate up, engage a lot of muscle, and get a calorie burning workout, then in actuality is gonna give you a little bit of recovery from your strength workout. We work hard on workouts one and three. This is a recovery workout, but it's a different kind of workout that's gonna more completely develop you. Here it is. And in out on your last rep, 30 seconds goes quick when you're working hard. Now, what I want you to do is drop your cables to either side of your unit, detach your cable pulley system. Now, if you have to, go ahead and look under there and see what you've got to do. Slide your glide board up, detach the cable, take it out. And you don't have to be frenetic as you go to exercise to exercise, but you can hustle. Go ahead and put your wing accessory facing you at the top of the rails in the highest hole, and away we go. You'll get plenty of chance to work here as you warm up. Go ahead and slide your glide board up here. You can see how Maureen goes at a little different pace. We're both gonna work 30 seconds, we'll both get there. Position your hips on the glide board, knees should be on, chin just over the edge of the glide board, and here we go to work again. 30 seconds, full stretch, and away we go. Make sure you use an over grip as this will be much more comfortable. And remember, we're not synchronized here. 
We're finding a rhythm that is comfortable, quick, yet controlled. This is a great lat exercise, elbow flexors, but more importantly, it's engaging lots of muscle. We're not failing in 12 reps. We're burning calories and getting cardio fit here and toning our muscles. So full stretch, couple more seconds, and recover. Nice. Go ahead and let your glide board slide down. We're gonna do another quick transition. We're gonna make use of this machine and its diversity, and we're gonna move into a press overhead. Go ahead and slide your glide board up a little bit. Make sure the wing accessory is angled towards you, and go ahead and slide those safety pins into the lowest holes on your rail. All right, once you have that set up, what I'd like you to do is slide your glide board back, place one leg back, then the other, and then lower yourself down, push the wing accessory away, scoot yourself into position, chin just off the glide board, and here we go, 30 seconds. Pushing away. Think about a little bit of tension in your abdominal muscle. Think quick without bouncing. Think control without losing control. Move, all right, here we go. This works the top of your shoulders, a little bit of chest muscle, the back of your arms, but it's part of revving that heart rate up. Here we go, control the movement, especially at the end and the beginning of the movement. That's where you risk injury. Here we go, can you go quicker and yet still control? Last few seconds, let's hit one more rep. Recover, lower slowly, your feet contact the ground, sit into an upright position. Let's remove the wing accessory and flip it around. We're now going to position it away from you and we're gonna move into a series of squats. This is where you're gonna get into some calorie burning, engaging the muscles of the glutes, hamstrings, and hip area. Now Maureen is gonna position her buttocks as I am down near the end of the glide board. Feet are positioned hip width apart and let's go, 30 seconds, here we go. We're going to squat and press with control. Now Maureen's gonna stay with this basic movement, but if you'd like to add a little calorie burning element to this, I want you to start to add a little propulsion. Look down at your bar and just add a little press or a heel lift so there's a little propulsion. You don't move that far from the bar. Now if you're not comfortable with this, you stay with the movement that Maureen is doing. But that little extra explosion and the stabilization required by the core just ups the ante a little bit. Go ahead and on this last one, absorb the movement and control to your starting position. Now we're gonna start with a squat movement again, but we're gonna press center and down. And as we press up, we're gonna push side and center, side and center, side and center, side. If you'd like to, add a little propulsion that moves you side, side. And is that gonna drive your heart rate, engaging the muscles of the lower body, adding a little propulsion as you push off? If you're more comfortable staying grounded, again, stay with Maureen. Keep it up here, we don't have that many more seconds left. This really moves the heart rate up. Last propulsion in center and control down. All right, now what we're gonna do is remove the accessory wing. So go ahead and slide your glide board up a little bit. Place it to the side out of your working environment. We're going to reattach our cable pulley system as we're going to move into some upper body movements. Make sure you completely open the gate, slide the board up, look underneath, and now we're ready to go. Ready to go swimming? That's good cardio activity. Go ahead and press your glide board up. Stabilize with your hands, grab the handles, slide into position, take a full stretch, and we're ready for a 30 second swim. We're gonna start pulling one arm around and then the other. Look as though you're looking to see if your hand exits the water, just like a true swimming stroke. So this is great upper body toning, and it mimics the action of a freestyle movement in the water. Now, if you can add a little speed without losing control, that's beautiful. Keep it going, got a few more seconds. This is a lot better than swimming across the ocean, isn't it? 30 seconds worth of good work. Feel the water, last pull, 
and go to your full stretch. Flex your arms a little bit, come up to an upright position, and now we're gonna move into a supine dip. So we're gonna work the back of the arms and keep that heart rate moving. Go ahead and split the cables, grab a cable in each hand, move your buttocks down toward the end of the glide board, make sure the cables wrap outside of your arms, and position them just under the armpit area, and go ahead and press away. And think about increasing the speed as we hit this 30 seconds. Now, if we wanna make this a little bit harder, Maureen's gonna stay with just the pure dip movement that works the back of the arms and the shoulder muscles. I'm gonna start pressing across the body and adding a little crunch. To make it even harder, we'll do an oblique twist with the legs up. If that gets too tiring, you're gonna go back down, feet connected, and across, and let's all end doing the dip movement. Couple repetitions, and pressing down. Now what we're going to do is drop our cables to either side. See the diversity of this machine in and out of all these great exercise positions? And we're going to detach the cable again. The pulley system, reach underneath, Lose the pulley system, and now what we're gonna work is a Pilates ab push away. You're gonna position your knees just behind the back rail. Maureen's gonna stay with what I call a box position. She's gonna place her hands just on either side of the glide board, and you're simply gonna push the platform away. That's what I call the box position, where your hips stay over your knees. I'm gonna show a more progressed position as we get going where we lengthen out and there's more load on the upper body and the core, but let's get ready and start with our basic box position. So here we go. We're gonna push away and make sure those hips stay back. This is a great exercise to start putting load on the upper body, the backs of the arm, and the shoulder. Now if you wanna engage more core in it, what we're gonna do is let the hips come forward, core kicks in, and pull back. Now realize you don't have to go all the way out as I've done here. You can take baby steps and start to open up the hips just progressively. Now let's keep our pace going. We've got a few more seconds here. Think core, pull back, stay with easier version. And let's end out with good control. Now we're gonna move into a lunge pushback from a standing position. I want you to center one foot so that when you push back, it's to the middle of the glide board. Step out just a little bit so that when you lower, your knee is over your heel. You've got that set up, let's go to work. So here we go, hands can stay on your hips. If you want to make this a little bit more athletic, you're gonna to start to pull your arm back. Boom, here it is. Now, the more you bend this leg, the more cardio, the more you engage those big muscles of the lower body. Let's do it. Whoo, power, power. These are like power skips that athletes do. A lot of good toning, as well as a big cardio burn. Hang with me, a few more seconds, and ease out of that. Go ahead and walk it out, and then let's switch legs. Center that other leg, place your toe, ball the foot pressured on the end of the glide board. Make sure your foot's out far enough so your knee stays over the heel. Press back, you got it. Let's go, 30 seconds. If you wanna add the arms, bring it in. A lot of balance going on here as well as driving the heart rate up. If you don't like that arm movement, just stay quiet here, or you can go athletic. Boom, there it is. Keep going, Whew. a few more seconds. Keep good form, keep your core engaged. And we're starting to wind it out, slow down your reps, control the board down, and great job. That's the end of our second workout. If you'd like to repeat workout two, pause your player now, and return to the beginning of this workout. Otherwise, let's move on to workout three. In this workout, we're back to emphasizing strength gains. Focus on controlled four second reps and about 12 repetitions to fatigue. Now let's go ahead and push these sets. As you near your 12th rep, I want you to really feel like you couldn't do another one or two without breaking form. 
proper selection of the resistance levels one through seven will largely determine your strength training result. You can see I'm gonna work on this one. We've ramped this up to level six, seven here and we're ready to get started. Make sure you have your wing accessory attached and make sure that is facing towards you. Slide your glide board up, position the board so your chin is just off of the edge of the glide board. Take a full stretch using an over grip and we're ready to go. Here's repetition number one, controlled up and controlled down. 